This happened near Granddaddy Lakes in the summer, July 2009. Here goes the sighting reports. I was backpacking with my brother and four nephews at Granddaddy Lake. We were setting up camp and my brother and I went off to find a tree to hang our food on. We were getting closer to a group of Boy Scouts we had been hearing while setting up camp. My brother was looking into the trees and I glanced over towards where the Scouts were. When I saw something with long white blonde hair that was staring into our camp, it must have been startled by our presence because it took off running extremely fast toward the marsh area. I remember very vividly the hair bouncing as it took long strides. The lack of noise that it made, along with the speed, startled me to the point that I unbuckled my gun holster, concerned for our safety. My brother didn't see what I did because he was too concerned with why I was going for my gun. From the way it was running, I could tell it was on two legs. Although I couldn't see below the shoulders due to the vegetation in the area, I would estimate the height about over six feet. The odd thing for me is that I didn't go over to the location to look for footprints, although it was standing in a very wet area. It was bothering me badly to the point that we went over to the scouts camp and asked if anyone in their party had blonde or white hair. None of the scouts had blonde or white hair. Everyone in the party told me I was crazy, but later I found out it was because they were scared and didn't want to think about it. Todd Strong with the BFRO talked to the witness. It was 3 p.m. sunny clear day and this is in Todd's report. I talked with the witness and I am familiar with this location and have camped there several times myself. The area is a popular backpacking location for Boy Scouts and others because of the numerous lakes and the sheer size of the basin. It is very remote and wild with an elevation over 9,000 feet with an abundance of deer, elk, and moose. The witness is an experienced outdoorsman and familiar with the Uenas. When he saw the animal, it was standing in a marshy area with reeds growing as high as the animal's shoulders. He saw it from behind as it watched the group of young scouts, maybe even cub scouts camping. The animal then realized he was approaching and it ran away into thicker timber that is abundant in the area. It didn't run like a human. The witness described the run as completely silent with very long strides that were smooth but leaping between each step. He thought this might have been because of the marshy terrain. It had very long light colored hair that flowed from its head and shoulders and every time it landed on one of its strides the hair would fly up wildly. It looked much bigger than a human and he felt a person could not match the speed or stride of the animal. The witness did not see its face, smell any orders, or hear any vocalizations.